Hi everyone, my name is Misao Mizuno, uh, president at Demu Fabrica and uh, uh, chief engineer at uh, Kaisekia. Okay, I'm kind of showing a elasti elastoplastic analysis using this kind of hook like shape and this is created by uh, Autodesk Inventor and imported uh, to uh, Mentat and based on this uh, geometry I have created a mesh which is like a uh, okay here we go okay this is a mesh um, tetrahedral mesh uh, okay something like this okay and it's uh, 2,121 elements with the uh, 4,031 nodes. Okay. Now, uh, before setting up uh, boundary conditions and everything, first, uh, this is the uh, load history I will apply, uh, starting from zero and maximum at a uh, uh, 0 0.5 second and going back to zero at one second but this is not really a uh, real time but kind of pseudo time and uh, this is a uh, uh, less plastic material so uh, at, at the ear stress and uh, okay this is a uh, maximum tensile stress and uh, this is kind of bilinear uh, stress strain curve and this is for used for the uh, uh, plastic deformation. Okay, and uh, material properties. Okay, um, the elastic modulus is uh, two hundred ten thousand megapascal with a Poisson's ratio of point three. And then for a uh, plastic domain. I use this table for the uh, definition and applying it to uh, all the elements. Now for the uh, boundary conditions, okay, I have already applied and uh, here, okay, I applied all the uh, uh, constraint to the uh, nose at the uh, top face. Now uh, for the uh, lowers, okay, um, the uh, I applied it down here, and uh, it should be total of two hundred newton. Okay, basically this is it. Um, I have set up the load case, make sure that uh, both uh, boundary conditions are right. And then uh, setting up the job. And uh, again, check the uh, loads, initial loads. And I have set the, uh, uh, the uh, what, what kind of results I want to see. And then uh, also make sure that this is a large strain and uh, check it okay and then runs the job okay it looks okay uh, running pretty uh, smoothly so wait and see um, until the uh, job this job is done Okay, it's done. Open the post file. Um, first, let's see the uh, displacement. And uh, I'm gonna hide the nodes. Okay, it's much easier to see. Okay. Okay, let's run it. Okay. Okay, boom. 
Uh, looking and coming back. Now, uh, look, look at the, uh, okay, strain. Okay, this is the uh, total equivalent plastic strain. You can see the uh, plastic strain down here. Okay. Now, uh, again, replay. Okay, a plastic deformation home, then uh, there's a big uh, deformation card. Well, it's quite interesting, and uh, you can also confirm the uh, uh, equivalent stress. Okay, so you can see at the uh, uh, yield occurred uh, certainly uh, <coughs> the de kind of deformation be behavior changed. So this is kind of easy. Uh, elastoplastic uh, analysis and thank you for watching